All right, ladies, I just wanted to do a quick video of my own version of how I put my wraps on since some of you have questions and it's too hard to explain. So I have this nail ready to go and I have my wrap cut and ready to put on. Um, I use a pull and stretch method, but I've also found that um, explaining it as a T makes sense to more people. So um, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your cuticle is pushed back. So I'm just gonna do that one more time. I'm sure I already did it, but. All right, so then um, I'm gonna get a little bit closer here, but you just wanna match match up your wrap and you know figure out if it's on your finger straight, which I need to adjust it just a little bit. This is why I do it, putting it on cold first so that I can adjust instead of heating and then having to do it. So I just lightly stick it on. Um, it's not stuck, you know, pressed down the whole way. I just lightly kind of stick it on the base. And then I heat. And what I'm gonna do is once it's nice and hot, I'm going to start my tea and it's gonna be an upside down tea. So um, it's warm and I'm gonna make the top of the tea across my cuticle. And then I'm gonna slide right down the center to finish my tea. And then this is where my pull and stretch comes in. So I'm gonna grab the corner at a 45 degree angle. I stretch out to the side and then the other side. And then I just heat and I smooth out the entire nail. And then I wait for it to cool off and I can clip and file, but I don't know if you can see if it's focusing in. Um, I have no bubbles when it's done and you can see on these nails, if it'll focus. I don't ever have any bubbles. So do the T and then pull and stretch. See ya.